All right, so this tutorial is for myself. I figured this out and I figure that other people might want to use this as a way to copy weight paint from a mesh that you've already weight painted and you have weight painted to your liking. If we take a look, I'll go into weight paint mode real quick. I have these very sharp weight paints for each one of my joints. And again, to my liking, everything I have, I like how it moves. And I would not like, you know, I'd like to create similar characters with the same exact type, you know, movement ability, but not have to re-weight paint every time. And tutorials I found on YouTube seem to be confusing, or they seem to be trying to transfer weight paints, is what I was looking for, but not necessarily for what I'm trying to do, is literally have a duplicate proportioned character, but maybe slight variations, kind of like how anime be doing, you know, like, so you have your character and, you know, this one has a hat, obviously, and glasses, and this one doesn't, but the faces are the same. And this could work like, you know, I want to create a different character with a different hairstyle or something, or maybe even different clothes, but the clothes are in very similar proportions. This will work. So what I figured and it took me a while. I had to bang my head on the desk and um, almost give up on life. Just kidding. Don't give up on life. But uh, what I had to do was go through a few tutorials that were kind of getting at what I wanted to do, but not necessarily. But this is how I figured out how to do it. So in object mode, I'm going to select the old armature of the character. That's the correct weight paint. We're going to control C, control V that armature. That gives you a duplicate, and the duplicate's already selected. So from there, I'll, in or, and again, sorry, to, I forgot to mention, we're in orthographic view in the front. So I'm going to select, all right, I've already selected the newly pasted armature. We're going to grab it with G, hold down Control, move it over in the exact area of your new mesh. So cool, right? And if you've parented armatures to mesh, you kind of know what's going on here, but I'll explain it. Next thing we'll do is select the new mesh, shift select the new armature, control P to pull up this menu, and we want to parent it with empty groups. You'll see why in a moment. So cool, we have this new mesh with the new armature parented, but it's not going to move, it's not way painted, has no way paint. And I'll just demonstrate that just so mo so y'all you know can see that. We're gonna weight paint on this selecting joints. None of the joints have any weight paints. Okay. So back to object mode. So now the magic begins. <laughs> so we're gonna select our old armature. G grab it with G. Hold down control. Move it right over your new mesh. Now, this is where I was getting confused and having problems, but this little menu up here is going to be your best friend. So this is my old mesh, cube number one. My new mesh is cube number two. Uh, depending on how you have your stuff set up, I don't know, but this is probably the simplest you could set it up. I have one giant mesh for cube one. Again, I'll move them away. This one mesh is one, you know, one whole mesh. And cube two is one whole mesh. So my character is not multiple parts and mileage will vary with this, you know, tutorial. But let me put him back in place. So with the old mesh over the new mesh, we're going to select the old mesh, shift select, or in here you have to hold down control, not shift, or else it's going to select everything. So select your old mesh, control select your new mesh, you have both meshes selected. Now in, up here, go to weight paint, it weights. Transfer weight. And this little menu down here. And I hit nearest face interpolated. And we're going to hit 
by name. Once you do that, you're done. That's it. I've seen other tutorials go through different things and blah blah blah, but this is all I needed to do to get the thing to work. Now, going back to object mode, I'll move the old guy out the way. You could delete him if you want. Uh, wait. I, okay, undo. Didn't have the right thing selected. Wait, I don't know what's happening. All right, we're going to leave this in, but whatever. So I can look at this guy real quick. Go to pose mode. Select him. Wait, where is that? My arms are moving. Ooh, that's cool, right? But now, we'll look at my new guy. Um... Pose mode. I could select the hand. There. He's magically painted. And if I check him out, go to object mode. Go into weight paints so I can check this out. Now has inherited the cool weight paints that I did initially here. And that's it. We win. We won the game. And you can continue making duplicate characters if you're doing something like a tactics game, which is something I'm using these characters for and going to create new meshes and have new characters with slight variations on how they look, but same, same e proportions. This will be like an invaluable tool to move your weight paints over and save eons of weight painting. Thank you for your time. Like and subscribe and all the YouTube stuff. Peace.